What's good, YouTube? It's me, your boy Squiddy, again. Another day, another replay. I'm gonna try and do one of these once per day, um, because you guys seem to like them. So I go second this game. My opponent starts off with the Pot of Desires, activates Tanky. So obviously he's playing either Pure Zoo or Tri Brigade Zoo. Reveals a Fractal, so obviously it's Tri Brigade. He's gonna go ahead and do the standard play, but it actually turns out to be Tri Brigade Bird. So he discards one of the Lyrilux that searches monsters, activates Bird Call. Adds a uh, Warbler to hand and immediately just goes off. So his hand's pretty good. I'm fairly certain that he does have full combo here. Um, obviously, we don't have anything in our hand, unfortunately. But the game's not necessarily lost yet because Strikers have a lot of um, board breakers, cards like Chalice, you know, etc. that I could draw into. Um, he goes ahead and does a standard play. Adds Swallow to hand so he can summon it with Nerval presumably, and then go into the second Recital Starling to add something else. Search Karas and yada yada yada, do the Posamoric board with uh, Apex Avian and um, Utopic Future and then the Untargetable Guy that bounces monsters um, on some blue. So yeah, he does a standard play. Now I think he actually messes up at some point here because he does actually tap into that Nerva a little bit early. What happens is he's unable to make the Samoric for whatever reason. Actually, even here, um, he uses a Farajit summon, but I think he actually forgets to use the kit effect. So he goes into Utopic Future, which is correct. Actually, he should have done that before he summoned Farajit to play around the Viru, but uh, you know, it's all right. Looks like they got there without me having any hand traps. So he summons kit right there. He forgets to banish three. <laughs> goes into Rugo, and um, already I'm in a good spot here. I thought, you know, it's a little weird. I guess he didn't go into Samoric for some uh, apparent reason, which is good for me, I guess, because I don't have to deal with a non-targetable non Link monster plus an avian, which is really hard for Sky's Dragon to deal with because all their spells target. He's going to finally go into Barrow Canary and then to Ensemble Blue that is untargetable because of the Cobalt Sparrow. Sets a card, passes, I presumably, off the top of my head, is probably either a Called By or a, um, a Droplet. We're going to start off with Reinforcement. He ashes a Reinforcement Army, which is a really weird play. So you can kind of tell this person's probably a little bit newer to the game, maybe coming from Duel Links. Um, but that being said, he's going to go ahead and ash that. So we're going to follow off with the Potter Desires to draw two. Um, Chalice and Nib, which are actually amazing cards. Just even the Chalice would have been great here. We're going to go ahead and Cosmic that because we know it's not Imperial Order. Not likely anyways. Uh, we're going to add Ray just off the first engage. Go straight in the battle phase, just swing over this on some blue so it can't uh, bounce any high up to his back, etc. Prevent us from getting the effect. He's going to use the effect to add back the Swallow for a follow-up on the next turn. Um, he also forgot to use the uh, Lynx Monsters, the Rugal's effect to bring back the Nerval in main phase. So we're going to take advantage of that. Here he's going to try and negate the effect of Ray. We're going to chain Chalice and then immediately after summoning, um, we're going to go Kagari because we already have three spells in Grave. There's not really anything to dump. And at the same time, even though this bird deck doesn't necessarily play effect failure, I'm going to always be safe. You know, it's possibly one of the only things that we can lose to at this point. So we're going to go Kagari in the battle phase so you cannot effect failure. Add back the engage just to guarantee that. We know Ash is gone because he already used it on reinforcement. Activate um, the Widow Anchor just to take his uh, Rugal so it can't use the effect in main phase 2 and also just swing over and get some damage and destroy a monster by battle which is always good. It's hard to remove cards in Skytracker without uh, taking full advantage of the entire game mechanics um, including the battle phase. Gonna engage and then draw on permanence and yeah the game's looking pretty good here. We also have the multi roll which we're gonna use to set up. Gonna use the Shark Cannon to actually banish here. Um, I actually thought, you know, in the end phase that I didn't banish the other Shark Cannons, so my line of thought was going to use both Shark Cannons to banish two targets, and then set uh, Reset Shark Cannon for the Barrel Canary, and then also Widow Anchor, but it turns out I banished one, so I ended up just banishing his Cobalt Sparrow, which was the only bird target that, you know, had an effect to add, uh, besides the other Barrel Canary in the graveyard, and then we reset Widow Anchor. Over here is a fun little play I did. Immediately shotgunning the Imperm before waiting for him to banish, in case he did actually have a Droplet in his hand. Um, which would have uh, allowed him to push through and then he just scoops there knowing that he can't win So yeah, that's about it. If you guys like this subscribe and like I'm gonna try and do one every day uh, So you can see some more high-level um, Yu-Gi-Oh dueling action